Okay, here we are inside the 2021 265 RBSS uh, Coachman Apex. Uh, as soon as you walk in the friction door here, you have your walk-in closet. Huge amount of space in here uh, with shelving. And you can put all your stuff in here, your shoes, we got a broom. Uh, we also have a vacuum that we put in here as well. And then some coat hooks there. That right there is a leveling system. Uh, it just makes leveling your RV a breeze. It takes a fraction of a time. Uh, makes it pretty simple. And then you have your control panel here. <clears throat> you have your one uh, super slide control there, and then your awning, uh, your living room lights, and then your awning lights. And that is your super slide here. You got your huge U dinette. Uh, easily fits for adults. Uh, and then your couch that folds out into a, a bed there too. So, but yeah, it really opens up the living area here with that super slide. As you see, I installed some lights up above here. And then below the TV, in the kitchen, and then a couple in the bedroom and in the bathroom too. So just uh, instead of having that bright light, it just makes it more dim and not as bright good ambience effect so as we round the corner here we have your 40 inch TV uh, your Jensen sound system here with your uh, Jensen speakers below the TV it's got a DVD player uh, AM FM radio CD player and then it's Bluetooth enabled too so all your latest technology um, you got a nice little shelf there below the the TV and the stereo. And then up above here, you have a little bit of storage up here. It doesn't go really deep because on the other side is the uh, walk-in closet, but you can put DVDs, uh, just whatever in there. I got some coax cable here for RV sites that have cable. Um, but yeah, a little bit of space there. And then down below is about the same thing, same depth. So a little more storage you can put miscellaneous stuff. This right here, we got our bathroom and then a, a big barn door there that slides. And it's mag, it holds by a magnet and it's pretty strong. So actually they say when you're traveling down the road, leave it open because that's a strong magnet there and it just keeps it in place. And then when you shut it, there's a magnet on the other side too, just not as strong, but it'll keep it shut. And you have your foot flush toilet there, huge counter space with the sink, cabinets. Um, just a lot of storage. And you got your light here that two lights in the bathroom there with the skylight. And then you actually have a skylight in the shower too that brightens things up. And this is a pretty big walk-in closet or walk-in shower. Um, I've been in several RVs and this is one of the bigger ones I've been into the, the walk-in shower here. So it's really nice. And then you got your towel hooks there. You got a window back here. And then you got a drawer down here too. Um, and then your, your tank capacities here, your galley, which is your sink, gray, black, fresh, and then your battery, and then your fresh water battery pump there too. And that right there is your electric power for your water heater and your gas power for your water heater. And then this switch 
controls the light here, and then you can do these individually too. And then also you got some storage over here too for nice little cubbies. And then we got your gas and electric fridge freezer. Pretty good storage area there. Right now we're in kind of storage, so we don't really shut those. We keep them cracked, so no mildew and moisture build up in this inside there. You got your microwave, three burner stove top there. You got some night lights here too and then you got your oven down below not very big but big enough for an rv uh, a lot of counter space here i like this angle kitchen area with the counter space and then if you slide this over it actually gives you more counter space And then this actually comes up too and provides even more counter space. So it makes it really nice. I like what they did here with the transparent cabinets here. It's a tinted glass. There's tons of space in here too. It goes all the way back in there. And then down below you got your drawers. And then more space in there. And then back in there is your water heater. More space there than that's your water heater area there. Carbon monoxide detector there. Your thermostat there. And this is uh it's run by central air. You have uh five different vents in here, and three in the living area here, one in the bathroom and then one in the bedroom. And it's a fifteen thousand AC uh your smoke detector there. But yeah, this 15,000 AC provides plenty. Um, I did upgrade to the 50 amp power for possibly adding on a second AC in the bedroom, but as of right now, I don't think I need it. That this is, it does plenty good. So, um, that's about it in the kitchen, in the bedroom. You have plenty of storage here. That goes way back in there too, it's pretty deep. And then up above you get storage that goes all the way across there. Same thing on the other side. This is a full size queen bed. Um, and actually there's storage underneath too, so tons of space. You got shelving on both sides. Both sides have uh, USB, USB ports and 110 outlets. And then you got three windows basically, one there, one there, and then the front window, and then the skylight there that opens up so you can provide plenty of daylight in here if, if need be. I installed a, a smaller TV there, so don't really use it very often, but uh, at least we have something there if we need it. So. Um, so the AC runs and your fan runs out of these vents on the ceiling and then your furnace runs out of those black vents. So there's one on the bedroom here, one there, and I believe there's two in the bathroom. So the furnace and AC are on two different duct systems. Um, there's your fuse box there. And here's the slide. This right here is a light over the dinette area. But yeah, this is a pretty big slide here. Um, bunch of windows. This U dinette actually folds out into a bed. And so does the, the couch there it folds out into a bed too. So fits four adults easily. <clears throat> and if you have three kids, even four kids, Two can sleep on that, and possibly even two can sleep on this. Um, but four adults easily. And then you have 
a lot of storage underneath here that goes all the way back on both sides there and then actually slides uh there's more storage back in there too so but uh yeah just a well thought out plan that apex has for this 2021 coachman apex 265 rbss i'll just do one more walk around here you can see And then what you hear there, those little black devices are mice deterrent devices. So far, so good. We've had this thing, oh, three months, basically through the winter and uh, no evidence of mice. So I don't know if it's a fluke, but they seem to work. So why not? And then one thing I forgot to mention, there's a Wi-Fi booster too antenna on top and uh when you go to an rv place that doesn't have cable um the places we've been to we get several channels so the the booster antenna and wi-fi booster works fairly well so as of so far so there's one last look there Thanks for watching.